Hi, this is George from iCam, and today we'll be looking at some of Campo's path planning capabilities. We'll be using a CL file generated by Katia, containing a single multi-axis toolpath, which machines a spiral groove around a cylinder. We know from our machine tool builder that our C-axis table can handle minus 360 to plus 360 degrees of movement. Due to our machine's limitations, we expect our C-axis to over-travel very quickly. Let's take a look at how that looks now. As you can see in our console, we've passed the minimum limit for the C-axis. Let's synchronize our error to our code and find out where we went wrong. As you can see, in output line N461, we're asking our C-axis to move to minus 360.01 degrees, an overtravel. And as the spiral continues moving down the cylinder, you'll see the C-axis value getting smaller and smaller. The minimum reached for the C-axis is minus 1716 degrees. Now let's see how we can have our post automatically correct this over travel for us. First off, we'll open Control Description, then Advanced 5D Machining. After that, we'll move to the RTA or Rotary Turnaround tab. We'll activate RTA at startup. These numbers represent a 1 inch feed retract along the tool axis a 3-inch rapid retract along the tool axis, a 3-inch rapid plunge along the tool axis, and a 1-inch feed plunge along the tool axis. Let's see what the post looks like now. Now when we run our post, we receive a number of messages. They state that multi-axis machining has been temporarily interrupted to avoid a travel limitation. Let's see what that means. If we right-click on the message and hit Synchronize, we see that we are approaching minus 360 degrees, the lower limit for our C-axis. The tool retracts, winds the C-axis back to minus 179, plunges towards the part, and continues cutting. That's how Campost identifies and eliminates over-travels at the click of a button.